from the chief astronaut. To what do I owe this honor? You missed a golf game again, so I thought I'd check in. Right. You want to get a beer before you drop the other shoe, or? No. Well, the beer is fine. Mm. <sighs> Forgive me for not getting up. Gravity's a bitch. I'm uh, here to put you back to work. This wild, happy free life has got to stop. Why do I think I am not going to like this? Because you know me. Uh-huh. I want you to run the astronaut office. They gave me around the astronaut office. What the hell for? Well, someone just put me in command of Pathfinder. Oh, wow. You just assigned yourself the command of the e-ticket right of the decade. Yep. Just like you told me to. Jesus Christ, you were supposed to listen to me. I was just messing with you. Well, you were right. And assigning your own missions is one of the perks of the job. It's a pretty ballsy move, Ed. You've never flown a shuttle. No one's flown Pathfinder. Looks to me like you just handed yourself a golden opportunity to screw the pooch. Always the optimist. So what do you say? Oh, I say no to that crown of thorns. Look, don't overlook the upside. Homage, favor seekers, opportunities to wreak vengeance on people who cross you. Well, that sounds fun. Mm -hmm. But no. No. I just want to fly. So fly. You assign your own flights when your six-month medical hold ends. I pull a Baldwin, put myself in the coolest thing flying. You bastard. <laughs> He's starting a week. You can thank me later. A bottle of Glen Farkless 25 would be nice. Oh, look, Glen Fittich never disappoints. Molly Cobb, chief of the astronaut office. I want you to know I appreciated your call. We never got a chance to talk at the funeral. I wanted to. You said you have something for me. Yes. <laughs> 